Okay everyone, back with a new project. Um, what I have here is two dried out pumpkins. These are smaller pumpkins, obviously. Um, the one on the right, I like. The one on the left, looks like it's been in a fire. <laughs> um, basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make a, a few more of those. I got, I got four more that I'm trying to turn into the one on the right, or to at least make it look similar to the one on the right. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like the one on the left. Um, let me let me explain to you what this is basically. This is just basically a small pumpkin, the ones that you can get for like a dollar or whatever. Um, carve it, you know, clean it out, carve it up, just to make the jack-o'-lantern type thing. Then you need to do something to support it inside, okay? Because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to take these things and you're going to put them in the oven. Okay, and they're going to be in the oven for a long time. So, um, you could put toothpicks like I have in the, in the ones that I'm doing right now. These two I had soda cans in there. Um, I don't recommend doing the soda cans because, let me show you here. The lid on here shrunk, whereas the soda can made the, the top of this thing stay the size of the soda can. So when the when the lid shrunk, what happened was is it now no longer sits on the top like that. This one falls right in. Um, this one here will stay on the top of it, but it's barely okay. So I'll show you in, in just a quick second what I did with the newer ones. No soda cans. I used the um, the toothpicks, like I said, but I cut the tops a little different too. Um, this is a, your typical circle cut around the top here. With the new ones, I cut it much lower on the pumpkin and, and made it more like a lid. Um, what I'm, I did that on purpose because I'm hoping that when it dries out, that the base as well as the lid will shrink together and the lids will still be usable. So, um, let me go show you the ones that I have going on right now. I don't want to leave this open too long. I have a few different sizes in here. This one's the biggest one. Um, it's more of a, a fat pumpkin versus a tall one. Um, this one here is kind of small. Um, he had actually a soft spot over here, but I think it's going to be okay because that should dry out. Um, this little teeny tiny one here. Get this to get some good light on here. He was actually starting to rot, okay? Um, and he doesn't look too too good right now, but it's okay if he looks kind of funky, okay? Because as long as he doesn't come out black, I, I think it'll be okay. Because um, the idea is to make him look kind of like scary little demons. So, and this one in the back, he's he's kind of getting a bitter beer face going on. But if you look at the at least some, these three, the way I cut the tops on them, see how the tops are more of like a lid, and and they seem to be drying equally. So that's what I was talking about. If you look inside the eyes, you can see the toothpicks. There's a bunch of them in there. And I'm propping them up. I just stabbed them in at all kinds of different angles. Um, basically, just trying to to prop up anywhere where I think it's going to collapse while it's heating, while it's heating up and getting soft. Because the idea is to get them so that they're kind of hard, hard skins. And they're getting there. They're not quite there yet, but they're getting there. Um, you want to get the outside hard to where it looks like that pumpkin that I showed you out there on the right. Um, and let the inside start hardening up too. Um, I might take these out a little bit before they they're completely done and, and see how well they do and see if they'll finish drying out on their own and we'll just kind of wing it and take it by ear but anyways I'll talk to you guys in a second when these get a little bit further done um, the, like I said they've been in here for three hours now at 250 degrees and I'm gonna leave them in there for probably at least another three hours so alright talk to you guys in a second okay everyone so these are done they didn't turn out nearly they didn't turn out how I wanted them to. Um, as you saw in the in the beginning of this video, I have the one that looks good and the one that doesn't look so good. 
These turned out more like the one that doesn't look so good. This one's alright though. I ended up throwing one away. Actually two of them away. And this one I'm not so sure that I want to keep. Um, my other half likes this one because it looks like he's wearing a mask. <laughs> it's the only one that the lid still works on it though. So he's, they're, they're both still have a little bit to go as far as drying out. Um, but what I did with this one, because he started to kind of collapse and he wasn't drying properly, so what I did was I took a soda can and I basically stretched him out and put him upside down on top of this can like this and put it back in the oven to try to dry them out some more and I turned up the heat quite a bit on them and basically now he's now his openings too big for his lid um, which is fine because I have an idea for him and I'm just I'm just overall not happy with how they turned out but they're okay they're still usable what I want to do what I'm gonna end up doing with this one is buying a candle that will fit inside of here that's roughly about the same size of a soda can. So it'd be like that. It'd be a candle holder type thing. You know, like I said, he's still got a little bit of time to dry out. It's a little soft. Um, I'm going to play it by ear. I don't want to keep him in the oven because I don't want him to turn black. He's already starting to do that around the eyes and the mouth. Um, so we'll give it a try again. Um, I have another pumpkin that I'm up in the air because it's kind of big about trying it again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong and why I can't get these these others to look like the first one I did. Um, it could have something to do with how ripe the first one was. Um, we got we got that one last year. I don't know. I think it was September, and I did it right away. And it was real fresh. It was the first part of September. The second one I did probably about, I don't know, maybe two or three days later. And I don't know if I did anything different as far as temperature. I can't remember. So I think with the next one that I'm going to try to do, I'm going to crank up the heat a little bit, maybe run it at 300 degrees and see how that works. Um, do a little bit more carving on the pumpkin to, to like scraping of the guts out to try to make the wall thinner a little bit and, and see if that makes any difference. I'm noticing right away on these ones that I've been doing that it seems like they start wrinkling up like this right away. So where with the first one it didn't do that. It started to but not nothing like that. So maybe it's just a lower temperature in the oven. I'm not sure but we're going to try to resolve it. Because I've got a, I like the first one. I really like how it turned out and I'd like to replicate it. So, that's it for now. Um, subscribe, comment, like, and I'll definitely be back before next year trying to solve this problem. I may end up out of the store here in the next couple of days and grab some pumpkins off their shelves or whatever that they have left over and give it another try. Um, if it works out, you'll see another video. If it doesn't, you're not going to see another video until next next um, next fall. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, go like our Facebook page, please. The link's down in the description. Um, share it with your friends. And if you're watching this video, you know I don't know if you didn't see this video when it was posted. There will be a link in the description to our website. The address is there, but it's the website's not built right at the moment. But you may be checking out this this video much later, so it could be already be up. Anyways, check that out, and I'll talk to you guys later.